So I'm here with Zeal Feldman, founder and CEO of HFZ Capital Group, one of the most active developers in Manhattan and in Miami as well. Zeal, thank you for being with The Real Deal. How are you doing? Good. Tell me a little bit about this. You made quite a ballsy move on the west side when you, when you bought this Highland site for, I believe, around $800 million. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about your, your thoughts on that project? Why was it a ballsy move? It's, it's a big, big ballsy move in the sense that land prices are quite high. You paid, I think, about 1000 a foot on the west side. Has land gone for more money anywhere else in the city? Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. Several, several places far inferior have sold for a So what, what's, your, what's your plan with that side, or what can you tell us in, uh, about that side? We hope to be uh, building uh, two towers designed by uh, Big, which is the Arche Angle, an extraordinarily talented young architect who's getting more and more uh, active in Manhattan. And our project is very unique in the sense that it's surrounded by water and the High Line. We know the area well because we're building right next door and selling out two low-rise towers of 120 feet. These buildings will be the highest in the whole area, the whole neighborhood on the water, 400 feet and 300 feet. And um, because the height and the square footage uh, within that height, our cost of construction is far less to build 800 some odd thousand feet than, if, than it would cost if we had to put it in a tower of uh, 60, 70 stories. But the reality is when you take your land costs and your um, Construction cost is far less expensive than a lot of our competition building very tall buildings for the same amount of uh, square footage. What do you think of that corridor, the West 57th Street corridor, that's been in the press for the last three years? It's been a lot's been written about it, but what are you planning to venture into that? Am I planning to venture into that? My office at 57th in Madison. That's the only venture I'm, uh, I'm doing. No, we'll, if, unless you own something there currently, there is no opportunity to, uh, to purchase anything on that corridor that's uh, reasonably uh, uh, economic. Uh, there's a lot of product online. Mm -hmm. um, Steve Roth has set a new standard. Um, With you referring to 220. 220. Uh -huh. uh, he's helped um, all the other products, I'm sure, because of the pricing. So the best departments will sell very briskly. And, um, Two million square feet potential in the next couple of years is a little daunting. And uh, in the outer boroughs, you mentioned briefly in the panel that you're looking at something in Brooklyn. What's what's sort of holding you back from making a deal? Yeah. The margins in Brooklyn are not as attractive as the margins that we've seen. Uh, you know, most of what we've purchased was really during 2009, 2010, early 11, that nobody else, not many people were buying. So we had the luxury of of not having to achieve pricing that is not, was never realistic. In Brooklyn, with land pricing where it is, and cost of construction, a lot of what I'm seeing doesn't pencil out. What has changed, like what's the most exciting part of your job now as a developer, and what was the most exciting job back then when you started HFC? Well, I've been in this business since 1991. I was a real estate lawyer in the 80s, and then co-founded Poppin Office with the one. So HFZ has been around since about 2005. Right. Well, what was exciting about it originally is we were, uh, we'd were like to buck trends, so I sold most of my real estate because I guessed right in 07, 08, when we sat on the sidelines for a very short period of time and started buying in 09. So those were exciting times for us because we were in a business where others were afraid to, to wander. Mm -hmm. Today, it's... Uh, very crowded. I tell young kids in this business, you know, in the last cycle, every taxi driver was a developer. It was time to get out. Now every Uber driver has become a developer. Currently, it's challenging to make, uh, to continue being in this business. I do have, I mentioned, a couple of family members in my company. Uh, the challenge is finding things that, that have a, a reasonable amount of certainty to be successful. But once you do find them, the creative nature of building is uh, something that's always gives me a rush. Zeal Feldman from HFC. Thanks so much. Thank you.